Good morning everyone this is Mrs Sharvari Patel and on behalf of Universal College of Engineering I welcome you all to an innovative session on creating interactive e-learning content In this session you will learn how to make stunning presentations animations and interactive quizzes and about various tools that are available online Now I would like to request our campus director sir Dr Jitendra P Patel to address the participants Good morning, my dear participants. I, Dr. Jitendra, campus director and in charge principal of Universal College of Engineering, welcomes you for innovative webinar on creating interactive content. My dear friends, we had dreamt that colleges will be virtual in future, but COVID-19 has taught us, taught us to the platform that we have to start our e-lectures, and it's time for academicians. to create our e content we have been learning various courses on nptel platform or swayam platform or on youtube lectures by the expert but we have never created our own e content so it's time for us now as our students are waiting eagerly to start their lecture. so my dear friends this webinar will basically help you to make stunning presentations to make interactive quizzes to make excellent teaching learning process and will help you to deliver your content effectively to your students it's the resource person for this webinar is professor sridhar is who is our innovative academician he has tried miss of teaching learning process in the past in the college we at universal college of engineering always help share the best practices with all so that everybody gets benefit out of it so sridhar ayer has taken efforts to interactive sessions very effectively for all of us i would also appreciate the convener and head of the department to our and co coordinator professor sarvari patil for making and designing this event effectively i would like to that This is the one of the webinar where thousand plus participants have been registered, and we are basically waiting to deliver in creating the e-learning content. So, my dear friends, join hands with me for understanding learning journey of creating e-learning content, and help the student community or all the stakeholders online lectures for this semester. make this event successful by participating enthusiastically learning the entire concepts of e learning thank you and make a, this webinar successful and have a great day thank you sir now i would like to introduce you all to the speaker of the session mr shridhar ayer is a masters in computer engineering from city he is in professional teaching arena since 2012 He has been awarded Best Teacher of the Year by CSI Copy of India Tech Next 2019. He is a certified ethical hacker awarded by the famed EC Council USA. He has expertise in the field of network security, cryptography and machine learning. He is also an author of a book titled Understand Forensics and Incident Response in Simplified Manner. He has 33 publications in renowned research journals like Elsewhere, UGC, etc. He is associated with Universal College of Engineering for the last 5 years as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Engineering. Now I would like to invite our speaker Mr. Sridhar Ayer to commence the session. Thank you. The session on a positive note. by giving you certain questions as this is going to be an interactive session i would like to uh, keep it more kind of an interactive where you may ask questions to me and i would be able to answer this question for that purpose i would request you to go to this particular website let's start it like this uh, i would be asking few questions expect uh, you to answer those questions right as this is going to be an interactive kind of a session so let's keep it interactive go to this website menti.com 
and use the code 805639. I'm repeating menti.com with the code 805639. There's a being asked from you, obviously, uh, this is a question where it's a cliche kind of a question where uh, I'm asking you whether you're excited for this session. Obviously, there is no option for a no over here. Either you are excited or you are definitely excited. So put in your answers and let me. The website is menti.com and the code is 805639. I would let you know why I'm do doing this activity. If you are using a laptop or a desktop, it would be very easy for you to switch between the uh, provide your answers. If you are using a mobile phone, then I would request you to kindly uh, keep an alternative mobile phone with you so that for you to uh, parallelly access the session and also answer the questions. Okay, I can uh, see the answers coming up. Definitely, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, let keep we let them coming. I would let uh, I'm doing such kind of an activity. Basically, uh, just imagine it's your first day in your college. It's a new batch of students. And the, what is the very first thing we do as teachers? We go to the class and ask uh, their introduction, right? We uh, we ask them what is your name, we ask the students to stand up one by one, ask their names and then we start with the syllabus pattern and then go on with the topics. Just imagine the students are sitting there in the college for a whole day of 10 to 8 hours, right? If on the very first day each and every faculty member go uh, takes their introduction, what will happen? It will be basically a monotonous kind of an activity, the student will keep on going on repeating the entire day. This will actually turn boring for the students. So we can break the monotony over here. What we can do is, instead of taking the uh, session in the lecture, uh, taking the lecture in the classroom, we can ask the students to go to the practical seats. Make them use the computers in front of them. Ask them this question and they will type in their answers, right? What happens? This creates a sense of connectivity between you and your student. The student feels connected. Once you her name, that name will simply pop up on the giant projector screen connected to the computers. What exactly happens is the student feels that I am belonging to this community. The student, the teacher wants to have an interaction with me. And that's why every vote counts, right? Right now I'm uh, having approximately 160 participants over here and each of them are typing their answers. So this is what I wanted to show the few each one each of the vote is precious for me because this will ultimately give me a feedback whether I'm going on a right path or not clear so visuals are more visuals stay in your mind for a long time so if you know if you ask the students for their name they will tell your name to you but what happens at some point of time you may forget what was his or her name but if you do such kind of an activity in your class you will still remember that the person I asked the name, for example, a student Vishal is in my class. For example, the name Vishal is prompted on the screen. I would ask who is Vishal. Vishal will stand up and it will stay in my mind for a long period of time. Such kind of activities actually generates the interest among your students because this will stay for a long time. Otherwise, what happens, the same monotonous activities goes on and on and on and the student will feel bored at some point of time at the end of the day. The content is really good, the students might feel bored at some point of time. So to increase the interactivity among the students, we can do such kind of activity at the very beginning of your academic session, right? So now I'm switching the question. I'm switching on for the next question. Kindly give me the answers. I would like to know what are your expectations from this webinar. Is it how to create interactive videos? Is it how to create stunning press? Is it animation tools? All of the above. And yeah, right now I'm getting all of the above as the answer. In fact, all have voted for all of the above. Okay. So it's glad to know that you are expecting a lot from me. And I am really happy to say that 
those who have opted for all of the above are next i am going to teach you how to create interactive videos how to create stunning presentations how to create animation using some animation tools most of them are free and many more things these are just a few options which i have shown to you apart from these a lot will be covered okay so i'm glad to know that you are having a lot of expectations from me and i'm really happy to know that okay so let's uh, move into the next question and then i will just start actual flow of the session okay this is a uh, technical question i'm just asking which device you are using for attending this session basically to know uh, in which direction i should go i would then mold my session in that particular path it's really important from me because then i would come to know how to carry on with this particular session and move ahead okay mobile phones are the majority okay no issues i uh, most of the tools which i am going to show are online tools so they are independent of the device which you are using some of the tools are desktop based tools so it's okay i have various alternatives of those tools so let's have a look 47 out okay 40 51 people are now using laptop desktop okay it's moved on to 60 so i can see many of you have voted and that actually boosts my cons okay so let me uh, check 70 70 of you are using laptop desktop okay that's great okay so let me just start with the session i would uh, show you what exactly is the path which i'm let me just quick show you what i am exactly going to follow today okay so this is the flow of event for today's webinar uh very first i would begin with how to create stunning presentation audiences mind okay so as we say first impression is the last impression so that should keep on on the mind or on the audiences mind so let's have a look how to create such stunning presentations which will ultimately boost your confidence and your teaching and learning so have a look the very first thing apart from the stunning presentations which we are, which we are going to see is how to create interactive lectures this seems to be a normal kind of a presentation but in a few seconds you will see why i am calling it as a stunning presentation okay have a look how to create interactive video lectures i will demonstrate how you can create or e content for your students with the help of a tool called as ed puzzle okay next i would show you how to create a podcast kind of an environment where you can create a community where the students discuss not only with the teacher but also with the other fellow students okay of a tool called as ted ed next up let me check okay uh, in prob uh, in uh, okay such as mathematics we are not in a position to write with the mouse directly so in those cases what we can do is we can make use of graphics tablets i will show you what exactly is a graphics tablet and which are the tablets which i am using right now for uh, you can see a graphics tablet is nothing but a digital slate with the use of which you can create awesome looking objects or presentations by typing or writing directly with the help of the pen I'm receiving messages that uh, my screen is not visible is there any network issue let me check from my end if there is any network lag or any issue with me yeah we are back live yeah there might be some network issues because of which the network uh, is fluctuating so i guess we are back now live uh, okay
let me know if if uh, everything is going smoothly i will switch off my video for that matter to save my uh, uh, bandwidth okay okay so yeah let's just resume it i guess there was some network issue do you want me to repeat from somewhere or continue okay thank you sir so yeah we were talking about this tool which is graphics tablets so graphics tablets come in various uh, varieties for example the one which i am using right now i am in mentioning i am not endorsing any brands i am just here to uh, i'm just here to demonstrate uh, my experience i'm just here to share my experience of this entire aspect so these uh, this is the tool which i'm using one by wacom i will demonstrate to you in in the next upcoming sections so let's just get back to tool that is prezi for uh, creating stunning presentations right so let's see what exactly is prezi you can go to prezi.com okay this is the prezi interface I already have my account on Prezi. What you can do is, what you can do is, you can uh, create awesome looking present. I guess again some network fluctuations. These are part and part. I have turned on the uh, live chat. Let me know if everything is going smoothly or not. There is some network outage over here because of which we are facing such issues. Just let me know. Okay, so uh, let me know from where shall I repeat because I guess some part of the presentation was missed due to the network problem. Is it smooth now, sir? Sir, ma'am, do let me know so that I can continue from uh, where we left off. Yeah. 
Shall I start from Prezi once again? Okay, okay. So let me start from Prezi once again. Start from beginning. Okay, sure. Okay. So let me start from Prezi once again, and let me know if I again end up with some network issues. Okay. So the very first thing is uh, you may have a look over here. I will show you the slide which I had made in Prezi, and then I will show you how to. Create such slides. Okay, so the very first thing is my resume. You can create resumes, portfolios on Prezi just with the help of the freely available templates. Okay, I turned off my video to save the bandwidth, so kindly excuse me. So this is a uh, what a resume looks like. This is very much uh, bright as compared to your traditional resumes paper resumes it will leave a long lasting impression on your employers you can directly send the of your resume to the employer and they will ultimately like it because it's really innovative it's really creative have a look uh, let me show you how this is different from your existing resumes experience in different part of the slides for example i have 7 years plus experience so i can mention it like this this is my first job. This was my first job, my first employers. Right now, I'm currently working at Universal College of Engineering for the last five years. So you can mention it over there. Next up, we can talk about the education. What is my education? You can see that I have uh, intuitively added few animation, uh, added few graphics over here. For example, starting off from really your journey as an individual. You're starting like this and end up like this as a bird. So let me show you. You can again zoom it. I am just scrolling with the mouse. This is my primary schooling over here. Then the high school. I did my twelfth uh, from Sati College, Ville Parle. Then you can discuss about your bachelor's degree from where you did your bachelor's, and then about your master's. And finally, if you have uh, done some post, uh, if you have done some uh, doctorate degree, you can highlight them over here. For example, I have not completed my doctorate. I am looking for uh, various uh, domains. These are the domain areas where I am interested in working. Right now, okay. So similarly, you can also highlight your skills. These are your skills. For example, your language skills. Which languages you know and those languages. Similarly, you can highlight your technical skills. For example, I am a certified ethical hacker. You can highlight your proficiency in Again, you can highlight your certifications. I have done these many certifications from various institutions. And finally, any other qualifications you have, any other activities you have done. For example, I have my book published. Mention about that over here. Finally, you can give your contact details. Right? The contact details can be your social media handles, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. So this kind of an but this kind of a resume looks really attractive and this can be easily made on Prezi. So I guess it's working right now. Yeah, I have started from Prezi only. Okay. I guess so far you have understood what exactly is Prezi. Now we can, I can show you what, how you can create a presentation using Prezi. Okay. So now you can click on this create from template because I don't want to make it from scratch using the template already given okay so this is how Prezi provides you with edits you can select from the templates for example I had selected this particular template for creating the overview of this session okay you can select any of the templates for example let me select this for a demonstration purpose okay you can obviously edit the presentation according to your needs when you click on continue, you have two options. Either you can share it with the pull, only you wish, but that comes for a cost. But I wouldn't, because when the service is available for free, so why, why, why to pay for it, okay? Right, so you can uh, select this option, anyone on the web. Give this a name, for example, demo, and press continue.
So once you press on continue, this is the template you will receive. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. The changes. Uh, I have received many requests uh, that sir, please start from Prezi once again. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm now uh, explaining Prezi only. Initially, I had given only the demo. Now I'm uh, showing you how to create a presentation in Prezi. Okay, so this is a sample template on Prezi. You can change it according to your wish, whatever you wish. Okay. Yeah, Prezi presentations can be created online only. If you go to, if you want to uh, have it downloaded on your machine, you need to pay for it. But I don't recommend that because I guess uh, the free version provides you a lot of uh, features you can go for. So there is no need for going for a, a paid version. That's what I feel. Okay, so this is your presentation. You can change the contents over here. You can change it as you wish. Okay. Similarly, if you want to add something over here, you can click on it, you can click on it and that particular section will pop up. You can keep on changing the contents you wish and at the end, if you want to share this with your friends or with your faculty members, you can uh, go over here on share, click on view link, link and give it a name. For example, demo PPT. Now you need to press on this create link. Okay. And then this is the link you should share with your colleagues or with your friends. For example, if I copy this and paste it on my browser and open it up, you will see this demo presentation, which we had just now created, right? So there they can view it in a read only mode and they won't be able to edit it. That is why Prezi is very uh, efficient when it comes to presentation. And because it provides such uh, beautiful templates that you don't need to uh, put in efforts in creating a presentation from scratch. It also has an option of importing a PowerPoint PPT and converting that into a Prezi PPT, right? So that is also an option available on Prezi. Clear? So I guess this is uh, enough for Prezi. Shall I move ahead? Just uh, let me know in the comment section so that I can move ahead. Can the presentation be downloaded? Uh, no, sir. Uh, no, ma'am. The presentation cannot be downloaded because it's a free one. But uh, if you wish to pay for it for the present, uh, if you wish to pay for the uh, premium pack, then you can download it. Otherwise, I would uh, recommend that you can share it with your the help of the link that's enough only thing is you need a working internet connection yeah we can okay so the next uh, tool what we are going to study is called as ed puzzle now what is ed puzzle as you can see in this section ed puzzle is basic right so uh, there might be situations where you are not able to take live lectures for example take two scenario only I was fully prepared for this lecture, but still due to some technical issues, we had some hiccups in the beginning. So they are part and parcel of the game. You can't deny there might be technical issues, which might extend your session beyond the two hours. Okay, so let's just forget about it and focus on the situation right now, what we are having. I guess again it's buffering. I don't know why is it buffering so much. It's not about the participant count. I guess it's due. Is it fine now?
okay so let me continue and let me know in between if it is buffering a lot okay so let's continue with the next topic which is head puzzle okay don't worry if you miss some portion of the presentation of this video because of some network glitches i would be sharing the videos and the and the links as well so that you can download it at your leisure time and practice it upon okay so let's see uh, the next tool which is uh, ed puzzle so ed puzzle is a platform uh, where you can create video lectures not only live you can create recording lectures also recorded lectures also and share it with your what uh, what happens is it creates a virtual classroom kind of an environment where in a in a traditional uh, classroom and ask a question to the student and the student may give the answer similarly you can mimic such kind of an environment using ed puzzle what exactly happens is let me show you this is one of the lectures i had created on ed puzzle you can play this video you can set some okay what you can do is you can play this video and in between you may ask for example when this point comes in the timeline a question will be asked to the student for example what exactly happens if john and george use a public wifi network the student would be able to answer this question if and only if he has or she has paid attention in the lecture means the video so if at all the student is paying proper attention he or she would be able to give answers to the question correctly there is an uh, using which you can prevent skipping so that the students won't be able to skip the lecture without giving answers to the questions by using this uh, platform ed puzzle what you can do is you can create interactive recorded videos this need not be a live video you can also create an interactive environment using a recorded video right so now let me show you uh, an example of a grade book this is a right i have these many classes a grade book is basically used to show the performance of the students for example this particular student has attempted seven has got 73 marks out of 100 and she has watched the video for 25 minutes so basically ed puzzle gives you a chance to know how many students have attempted the particular question and how long they have watched that particular video so this gives you an exact idea uh, which are the students who are paying uh, paying proper attention in the class and who are not uh, paying attention correct so now i will uh, tell you how to create an ed puzzle on ed puzzle again you need a google account to log in these are the popular channels from where you can post up the videos on ed puzzle okay so you can either use an youtube video or you can add your content as well for example let me uh, add you okay let me search my name if it's visible or not okay ed puzzle not only allows you to uh, create your content it also allows you to use somebody else's content for example i like this okay just for example i'm taking this video okay this talks about something creating a design okay so what i can do is i can use this video as a lecture for my next sessions i can assign it using this option assign okay this will be assigned to any of the classes for example i want to assign it for this particular class or you can add a new class or you can keep it public anyone using this link can access that particular link so now i have copied that link i need to paste it in the browser whoever is having that particular link will be able to access this question access this lecture now let me show you how to add questions to it for example again this video i have used video select this right click on it it will keep on playing you go to edit edit section you will uh, come to know how you can add questions to it <coughs> it's loading up it, it will take some time in the meantime i will just check on the chat box whether everything is going smooth or not okay 
still uh, taking some time. So what I can do is I can uh, go back and show you with one. What I can do is I can click on this edit. And over here, what you can do is you can either add some voiceover. For example, you can mute the original voice and add you can add some questions for example this is a completely new video so i can add questions to it play it and in between for example over here time you may ask a question to the student uh, ready with me okay so go over here click on this multiple choice questions you can ask a question for example what is packet sniffing for example okay and at the end you can add some options for example it's an attack it's not an attack i'm just giving you a demo you can select which is the correct answer according to me this is the right answer click on that green tick over there press on save and this will add a question over here in the timeline in the similar fashion you can actions which you wish and then click on finish after clicking on finish you will get something like the previous uh, problem we had that is the previous video we had questions in between the lectures so this is how we make use of ed puzzle and then we can share the videos with our students we can also copy the link and paste it in our google classroom or any other lms which you are using okay so using this we can create interactive e lectures right so next we can move on to the next topic the next topic is nothing but how to create a discussion forum or how to create a podcast we can make use of a tool called as ted ed okay so what basically is ted ed ted ed is nothing but a uh, similar it is similar to your ed puzzle but the only difference is that using ted ed you can create a discussion environment where the students can not only interact with the teachers by giving answers to the questions they can even interact with each other with the help of a discussion forum so let's see create lessons using ted ed again ted ed platform can be accessed a google account okay So you can use your Google account for accessing TED Ed. It's very simple. Okay, what you can do is you can go to this particular section TED Ed and copy any. Okay, so for example, I want this particular video ARP spoofing explainer. I select this video and press on continue. Okay, I can select this video. Press on. Yeah, I will share the PPT and all the presentations. I have already uh, created a text uh, file. I will definitely share it with you all. So don't worry in, if in between the uh, session is uh, getting disturbed with some network issues. I will send those files to you. You can check out those uh, resources and you can use it on your own. Okay. So let me answer a few questions and then we can proceed ahead. Yes, uh, this video will remain on this YouTube channel. So, in case you are not able to access it live right now because issues from my end, I will keep it public so you can watch it later, right? So now let's move ahead with the next topic, which is interactive tests. This is very interesting aspect. How to conduct interactive tests? I will show you with an example. This is the uh, where you can download this tool. This is a standalone desktop application. You don't need internet for this. Only for the downloading part, you need the internet. You can download it from this installer shown over here. Let me let me show you how exactly this tool looks like. Hot potatoes. Yeah, it's a, it's got an interesting name. Let me show you the icon. It will solve your concerns. See over here. Uh, these are basically potatoes. Mashing them to create a test. 
that's why the name hot potatoes okay so you can see these are the various options which are possible these are the various kind of tests which are this tool called as hot potatoes have a look this is a quiz you can create a multiple choice or a short answer quiz you can create a crossword you can create a mixed jumbled sentence kind of a quiz you can create a match the following quiz and really last one being a fill in the blanks kind of a quiz i will show you a demo exactly this looks like and then i will create one quiz for you go to this hot potatoes i have this particular folder i will share it with you all i had create word for my students this is how it looks this is the interface you can either create it as an html page and share it with your students or you can have it on your server i have my website i usually conduct my tests on my website okay the first thing you need to do is type your name press enter a timer will begin you can set the timers it is you can do customizations on your own so what you can do is see over here this is how it looks okay this is how it looks for example this one it will show you the clue associated with that particular question for example this process converts the original representation of the information known as plain text into an alternative form known as cipher text whatever answer you may give over there for example if i write encryption i may be right or wrong let me see yeah it fits in in this particular box it may be right or it may be wrong at the end of the day when the student checks the answer he or she will be prompted with the marks similarly when you click on this two the hints are shown over here at the bottom right so if you click on this two it's prompting the result of encryption either characters or bits using some it could be anything the result of encryption it basically depends on your question it basically depends on your subject which you are teaching this is how i had crossword using this tool called as ed puzzle sorry uh, called as hot potatoes so let me go back to this section okay next i can go for mumbai mumbai is capital of maharashtra and next last is a uh, punji i can type in capital of goa and last capital of jharkhand cool at the end you simply need to press okay okay so this is how it so basically if you want to export it as an html file what you can do is you can go over here create a web page standard format and press give it a name for example on desktop i wish to save it as demo it will be saved as demo.html okay so now view this exercise in my browser this is how it will look for example again it will prompt you to give a i am typing my name over here and this is how it looks the same kind of a thing i show i, I had demonstrated it looks similar to that only difference is it's small okay so when you click on this one it will show you capital of delhi you can type in delhi over here press enter then in two okay this four capital of jnk you can type in shrinagar and so on okay let me complete this so that you will come to know how it actually saves it goa is punji then rachi and type enter and check so if all are correct you will get uh, an answer like this well done your score is 100% uh, report card will be generated and it will be sent to the teacher you can set this up
it will be sent it will be saved in this particular location or it can be directly sent to you by email. this is how we can create an interactive kind of a lecture using this tool called as hot potatoes there are many other uh, tools for example at as i had discussed you can create a quiz over here multiple choice questions you can create match the following fill in the blanks and uh, can create jumble quizzes so this is how we can create quizzes in this particular tool called as hot potatoes now let's just move to the next section if everything is going on smoothly i can move ahead with the next section which is called as animations i will just take a break of 2 minutes i will solve some questions i will ask whether if any doubts are there and i can move ahead Okay. Okay. So this tool, the next uh, session is basically on how to make animated videos, animated tutorial videos. So I will just show you a free tool called as Animaker. But before that, let me show you a demo how exactly these. uh animations look like and then you can decide whether you can go for uh which kind of a so let me show you this toonly an animaker i have uh, created animations using these three tools let me first show you animaker standard animation hello all this, this is shridhar here and, and i would like to guide you all in this particular series on e content development using the tools available on the internet so aren't you excited so let's this is a tool called animaker Let me show you one more animation, which is also called as whiteboard animations, and how it looks. Hello, everyone. So let's have a look. What are the topics that we are going to cover today? Aren't you excited? Let's get started. Okay. So two different kind of animation softwares animation outputs first one is a standard 2d animation and the second one is called as a whiteboard animation right so the only difference in both of them is the first video will be consisting of all the animated characters talking with each other the uh, the characters can keep on moving around but the second one is all about focusing on the text as you had seen in the videos the first one was all about different animated characters but the second one was a whiteboard animation where only the text are animated a uh, uh, freely moving hand keeps on drawing all the text in between to rub the uh, characters so these are the differences let me show you one more uh, animation created on a tool called toonly hey doctor could you please tell me what are the various symptoms of corona The various symptoms of corona includes flu or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion, nausea or diarrhea. So basically it's up to you which uh, tool you prefer. All of the tools provide different kind of an option. The first one, Animaker, provides you a simple drag and drop kind of an environment. It's an online tool, for, so it will be feasible for all to use. The one is also a, a freely available tool called Animaker, where you can make use of whiteboard kind of animation. And the third one, called Toonly, is basically a a trial version because you have to go for the paid uh, a paid one if you like it. Third one, Toonly. Uh, make angles zoom in zoom out more easy with the help of the uh, features provided okay so let me just show you what exactly is toonly and how to create animations using toonly it's very simple i will just show you in 2 uh, to 3 minutes what exactly is toonly all about and how to create and okay i will show it with the help of this animation only which i had created the one you saw this is the one 
I had created. Let me play it once again for you and then I will show you how to create it. Hey doctor, could you please tell me what are the various symptoms of corona? Okay. So as you can see, it consists of few things over here on the timeline. Okay. So basically the first thing pick up the background. What I did is I used this background pane over here, the background and the scenes. In the scenes, you can see that this is basically a park kind of an environment. So I simply dragged it and pasted over here, right? Then you need to add the characters. There are multiple characters over here. You can select any of the characters from here. I simply had selected the doctor character and placed it over here. Because uh, I'm talk discussing about Corona, so I had selected the doctor character from here in this uh, characters uh, uh, option, right? Next up is you need to add some music to it. If I play it without the music, it seems very dull and very boring. So you need to add some music to your animation as well as the cartoons are basically full of music, mo uh, movements of figures and all. So what you can do is you can go to this audio section. There are n number of freely available videos. These are those you can use it to upload your content on uh, YouTube, etc. where you need to have copyright free materials, right? So you can select any of these. You can play it like this to check. This is what I had used to drag it and place it over here, right? I had already done it. So I am not showing it once again. Once you have dragged it, you can select this portion by right clicking on it and you can vary the volume. I have kept it low because I also have dialogues in between. Okay. So you can see that my characters are speaking with each other. Hey doctor, could you, what are the various? And you can see that there's a lip sync going in the background. The characters will speak and the lips are moving. How to do it? This is the character, okay, who is speaking. So you need to right click on it, go to this section of the track, click on it and select this voiceover is nothing. I have done it. I have recorded a video, uh, sorry, an audio. Let me show you how to record it. For example, you can go over here in the default section, putting button and say something. Hello everyone, this is Sridhar Ayer and I hope you're enjoying this session. Stop it. So once you have recorded this, you will have this particular recording over here. You can drag it as you wish. You can place it over here. And now I uh, wish the doctor to speak something. What I can do is I can stretch this doctor's timeline. Previously, he was briefcase. Now what I can do is I can right click on it. I can press on type over here. I can select this lip sync option. Okay, and now select the track. Now I have this recording at second position. So I will select this and now save and now play the video. Hello everyone, this is Sridhar and I hope you are enjoying this session. Okay, so we need to... Okay, let me show you with the help of a different character as the character was already moving. So I am not able to show it. Okay. Over here and stop it over here only. So what I can do now, let me show it. Hello. What I add one more character for your purpose and then show it how the lip sync actually works. Let me select this character, place it here. Okay. And add the lip sync to her. Let me enlarge it. Right click at this. Lip sync. Select the track and save. Works or I have to select the different. Hello track. everyone, this is Sridhar. Okay, so I need to add the second voiceover. Hello everyone, this is Sridhar here and I hope you are enjoying this session. Now you can see that the lips are moving. So basically you need to sync the uh, lip movements along with the characters. This is very simple and it ultimately depends on how creatively you uh, create a storyboard kind of an environment because animation is all about telling stories, right? So it ultimately depends upon your creativity, how creative you are and how much you are able to create an animation. This is how Toonly works. Okay. 
and at the end you can save your work in the form of mp4 etc which you can share with your students you can upload these videos freely on youtube without any copyright issues because all the audios which you have used in toonly is copyright free similarly a similar kind of a drawing can be drawn with the help of the other two tools i have already shown the demo of animaker animaker whiteboard so let me uh, move ahead with the next topic which is screencasting as we are moving towards the few last sections if time permits we will have a and we'll also have a demo of few of the uh, tools if you wish me to demonstrate right so these are the tools is how to screencast okay. right now i'm using a tool as i have already shown i'm using a tool called as obs which is specifically used for streaming live content but we can also use it for screencasting this is the tool which i am using okay you can see at the bottom right there is also an option of start recording so you can record your screen as well save it in whichever format you wish and then you can use it to carry out your lectures so now let's demonstrate the various tools which i use for screen casting okay so the tool which is shown over here is camtasia let me go to the website scantasia studio okay in in the meantime i will open up the exact uh, software which i am using for capturing lectures it's basically called Camtasia Studio. You open the Camtasia. It is an all-in-one recorder, which is not only a recorder but also a video editor. The other tools which I use, one of them is Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is a freely available open source tool. You can use, and as I had already discussed, it's uh, having a limitations of 15 minutes for each video. So what you can do is you can record 15 minutes videos, and then club it up using any of the video editors you know freely available video editors will do the trick you can simply start recording for free click on it save it in your desktop and then use it to create an awesome looking meantime let me show you what is camtasia camtasia is readily available for free it's having a free trial you can use it to create your video lectures okay Let me close this browser, or otherwise it will again. This is how the Camtasia interface looks like. You can see on the left hand side, we are having multiple options. Record being the topmost priority because this particular recording your screen. But apart from that, you have multiple options you can use for creating live uh, video content and I'm on the go. For example, let me show you by recording a screen capture. Okay, by clicking this record, I will show you live how to record things. Okay, it's starting up. Record button. It will start recording your conversation. It has already started. Now let me speak something. Let me open up something for you. For example, over here, I am opening a video for example this intro so what exactly is packet sniffing so you can see that it's already recording in the background you can pause it or you can stop it once you click on this stop the video which you have recorded will automatically come up on the screen over here as you can Check it, you can watch it whether it was recorded properly or not. Let's have a look. It has already started. Now let me speak something. Let me open up something for you. For example, over here, I am opening a video. For example, this intro. So what exactly is packet sniffing? So you can see, so you saw how simple it is to capture a screen, right? Now, how you can do editing?
okay so you can see that the video and audio are separate files over here you can increase the audio limit <coughs> you can amplify the audio you can cut out some portions of the video you can crop it you can these transitions you can add some annotations for example i wish to uh, have a dialogue over here okay so you can see that it's really simple to add some dialogues in the already captured video for example particular section lies over here you can drag it out and place it anywhere you wish for example let me show you how it looks like it has already started now let me speak okay so basically you can drag it out do some let me open up something for you for example and then you can come to a conclusion whether it looks nice or not okay clearly you can add some animations also for example let me delete this if you wish to cut this section from the video you can click on this split all now you have two separate sections of the if you want to add some transitions in between you can do so by clicking this transition section and adding something like this so what exactly happens is when you go over here click on this example over here you saw that small piece of transitions hap happening in between it's because of the transitions i had selected over here you can select any you can add this if you wish for example over here you saw that i'm opening and if you have uh, seen the intro video for today i had edited that using this software only camtasia introduction uh, speech our uh, sir gave that particular video was edited using this software only you can add something for example cursor effects cursor effects are nothing but you can see on your screen there is uh, a yellow circle going along with the mouse it's very uh, it's very uh, very much required whenever you are dealing uh, wherever you are dealing with a lecture whenever you are giving out a lecture the students should be able to your uh, see your mouse position otherwise they won't be able to find out what exactly you are talking about so in such a cases we must have this cursor highlight this particular software camtasia you can simply drag that cursor highlight and place it on top of your video so if you are having a cursor moving in your uh, screen you will see it has already started now let me speak something over here you can see this is the cursor i'm talking about the yellow circle surrounding the mouse whenever i move the mouse it will keep on moving let me show you let me open up something for you for example over here i am opening a you saw this is what i was talking about. so a cursor effect is very much required if you are giving a presentation or a lecture live similarly you are having multiple options such as cursor magnify instead of the one you are adding one more feature that is cursor magnify wherever your cursor is uh, moving the area will be magnified now let me speak something let me open up something for you for example over here i am opening a you can increase the size of the magnification from here okay so basically you can add n number of activities in your section in your video even after the video has been recorded you can also add some voice narration for example so how we uh, add voice uh, recordings in tunely the same thing you can do over here as well clear so at the end you simply need to click on this share button if you want to directly upload it on youtube do so or otherwise you can save it or download the file on your local device the resolutions if you wish click on next and save it so this is how you can record a video and you can ultimately use this video for your as as well you can use this video on edge puzzle and make it an interactive teaching and learning method clear so this is thing works and now let me show you uh, the next tool which is screen castomatic it is again similar let me show you how it works click on this start recording for free click on this launch free recorder it will uh, launch the recorder if you are doing it for the first time a small web launcher will be done. open it up okay it's opening in the background
recorder is launched i think it takes one or two minutes for updating updation and then it will be ready for use as i had told that this particular screen castomatic has only a limitation of 15 minutes uh, per recording now you can see we are ready with the screen castomatic what you can do is you can select the options you can full screen you can change your recording size resolutions you can add narrations into okay so once the recording is done you can go there and and it will open up you can see it's really very simple to use a web launcher such as screen castomatic i had intentionally kept the narration off the audio off that's why it is not having an audio you can use your audio or you can use your earphones to speak into it and it will record the session so these were the session, uh, these were the tools which we uh, generally use for screen capturing there are many other tools i would request you if you know of any other tool you can simply contact us you can let us know which are the tools that are better than this and uh, use it it's basically all about sharing the knowledge we have i am not a perfect person neither uh, neither of us are so we can keep on sharing whatever knowledge we have with the community so it will help not only the individual to grow but also the community will grow as a whole right so let's just see the tool which i am having it's basically a hardware tool which is called as a graphics tablet a graphics tablet is basically a tool let me show you how it looks like this is the tool which i use it's a product called uh, one by wacom let me quick it to my machine so that i can show it to you how exactly it works i have connected the tool with my machine i will quickly show it to you how exactly it works just let me know if it is buffering so that i can stop for a few uh, minutes and then again i can resume so this is the tool which i use that is this particular hardware which is called as one by wacom i have 7 months and i haven't faced any single issue if you are aware of any other tools you can simply drop in your message so that others will come to know which are the tools which are available market so they can use it this tool is basically used uh, useful for people who are having subjects for example mathematics physics uh, drawings uh, example you can draw diagrams instantly with the help of these uh, stylus pens it consists uh, basically this comes with a slate like of a structure you can call it which comes with a stylus pen you draw or write with the stylus pen and that is directly being displayed on the screen let me show you the software which it so the companion software which is uh, very much useful with this particular tool is a software called as concepts let me show you if you are having a microsoft windows system running on your machine you can go to this or search for a software called as concepts i already have it on my machine you can search for it right concepts is a really, really good tool it is not only used for painting it is also used for writing something on the screen which i'm talking about concept just install it and open it i already have it on my machine so i will simply open it up for you this is how it looks like it's similar to so you can click on a new project and this is how it looks like click on this plus you get a workspace now what is this workspace all about this workspace is nothing but the environment where you can type in with the help of your stylus for example i'm having the stylus in front of me right now i can select the colors if you click on this color palette see how interesting it is right you get n number of options you get to choose from the colors available 
there are many you can select any of the colors right now i'm using my stylus only to changing change it around now you can see you can you can select the dynamic pen now what is the difference between a pen and a dynamic pen again it's a very uh, my uh, very basic difference between both of them if you are selecting this pen option and writing with the stylus you can't modify your width the pen width if you are using a dynamic pen what you can do is i will change the color you can keep on changing the width of your text by applying a little wherever you want you saw the first letter s was very small in size but the second letter is a little bulkier because i am applying a little bit the pen tip right so basically dynamic pens come really handy for uh, pressurizing or focusing on for example there is one more option over here the soft pencil okay this is basically used for highlighting few sections for example in ed or or ed subject you can highlight a few hatch lines with the help of this pen okay so this is one of the softwares with which you can use your stylus or your uh, graphics tablet one of the softwares which i am having apart from this is microsoft whiteboard just in the same fashion you go store search for whiteboard and the very first option is microsoft whiteboard you can use it to create your uh, digital workspace similar to this uh, similar to this concepts application the whiteboard opens up and it takes some time because it requires a microsoft account okay let it open up in the meantime i will show you what exactly is this tool all about you can check this link from where you can download sorry from where you can uh, order this particular tool which is called as wacom okay you can also use notepad let me show you can we type on notepad with n yes we can simply tap the digital slate or a graphics tablet with the pen and a pop up box will open up here you can type anything for example my name and press on enter that will automatically pop up on your screen so even notepad can be used for writing with the help of this tool called as one by wacom it's still loading up yeah this is how the screen looks like the microsoft whiteboard i had done uh, on this for example uh, if you wish to add two numbers i had written something like this design a machine to add two numbers you can draw lines with the help of this for example you can see there's a scale over here you can change the angle of the scale with the help of your mouse for example i want to draw a 90 degree line this is very much handy if you want to draw uh, engineering drawing problems okay you can draw parallel lines you can simply slide the scale here and there get a parallel line only and then you can draw the parallel line here right similarly you can click on this eraser button you can use your digital tablet pen digital stylus to apply more pressure you saw over here i am applying more pressure and the radius of the similarly if you wish to draw a square or a rectangle you can draw it like this the whiteboard will automatically detect its shape and draw a smooth line so this is how a stylus comes really handy if you have uh, subjects which involve a lot of problems to be solved and you can conduct a live with the help of this particular tool and this hardware which is a digital tablet so i hope uh, all these uh, tools uh, come really handy to you for creating your online lectures i will just uh, recap of whatever we have done in this session so far i'm really sorry for the technical issues uh, for the technical glitches we had in between i am again assuring you that this will be made available online so you can download it from the same link or we will provide the link in the telegram channel you can download it download this video from the particular gram channel i will also upload uh, separate videos on these tools on my youtube channel you can uh, uh, go to the particular link and use it to create your awesome looking content at the end i would like to say that this is basically about sharing our knowledge whatever i knew i tried to uh, i tried to share it with you all if you learn something out of it i would be really happy and that would really motivate me in carrying out such future also 
at the end i would like to say if you like this uh, particular session if you enjoyed the session then you can uh, give a thumbs up give a like on my channel it so that we can have many more sessions in the future as well so i would simply open up this particular section q and a section you can ask your questions in the comment section or we'll provide you a link you can ask your questions in the q and a for example you already saw what menti is right so i will open up you can ask your questions you can go to menti.com and use the code 805639 the same code and you can ask your questions me and p2 answer your questions this is again an interactive way of asking questions for your students you can go to menti.com type in this code 5639 ask your questions and let the world know about it okay so i'm ready shoot your questions if the comment section is not working properly you can section to uh, ask your questions sir how to draw diagrams for biology any such software i would like to answer if you want to draw a free hand drawing if you want to go for a free hand drawing you can use a software which i uh, whiteboard is very good because you can also uh, you can also draw ellipses and circles with the help of your uh, stylus pen the only thing is if you want to go for a stylus pen then anything can be drawn on a whiteboard but if you if you don't wish to spend on a stylus pen then there are many other softwares you diagrams you can draw ellipses the only thing is if you are really serious about your subject then, and uh, want to explore more about it then i guess you should go for a particular stylus or a graphics tablet this will definitely boost your e learning content okay will this three platform work for designation of experiments of discipline yes yes sir it's uh, so ma'am uh, this basically the three tools which i had shown you you can use either of them either toonly or animaker or animaker whiteboard if you are focusing on text i would refer go with animaker whiteboard because uh, it doesn't involve a lot of animation between the characters it involves only the animation between the text which you are wanting to show so for example if you want to show some formulas you want to show some expressions to the students you can go with the animaker whiteboard software right next ted ed explain okay uh, as i had explained in the video ted ed is basically a platform where you can uh, use your pre recorded videos or even videos which are designed by someone else obviously we are still learning right learning shouldn't stop so if you feel that some topic which you are not getting properly you are not uh, properly uh, expl uh, getting the hang of it so you can use some uh, a video which has been created by somebody else who is having much more knowledge than us even i use videos created by uh, other professors right so you can use other videos also and post it or a lesson for your students you can use it as a, le a lesson uh, let the uh, students ask their questions even uh, uh, they can ask the questions among each other and with the community as well so it is very much similar to edl the only difference is that you can add the forum option in ted ed which was not possible in the case of ed puzzle uh, one more thing i would like to uh, discuss is ed puzzle has a limitation of 20 videos only so once you reach the 20 and delete your previous videos this is what i do actually to save money because uh, what ed puzzle does is after 20 videos it will ask you for some uh, revenue for some uh, price as their policies but it's up to you you can delete your previous videos from those 20 videos which have already been covered and again the quota refreshes okay what is the best tool or software for math subject so uh, the same thing uh, where i have already shown you you can use the microsoft whiteboard it is very useful you can type you can write with the help of a stylus the only thing is it is very difficult to write with the help of a mouse that's why i would suggest go for a, a budget uh, graphics tablet even i am using a budget graphics tablet i will give the links later in the comment section or in the description box or i will share the text file which will be having all the links of the softwares or hardware which i am using right how how to draw diagrams for biology sir i have already sir i am not actually able to identify who is speaking so 
uh, in general i'm saying uh, you can use the same software if you are preferring a hand drawing free hand drawing you can go for microsoft whiteboard or even you can use paint the only thing is it is really difficult to draw with a mouse so you can go with a graphics tablet screen custom has a watermark on it yeah but camtasia in its free version i don't have it's a watermark or what you can do is even if it is having a watermark you can use any video editing tool to crop that much part so for example you might have seen that animaker also had a has has a watermark so you can crop that much part and use it as your own product that will not do any problem that will not cause any problem how much cost for whiteboard so whiteboard is free whiteboard uh, is a free tool which comes with your microsoft uh, os only the only thing is the graphics tablet it costs it ranges between 2000 to 6000 7000 it ultimately depends on how much you wish to spend for it it starts from 2000 it, it can go beyond 15000 also it ultimately depends on the usage i am using a simple graphics tablet it doesn't have a screen it simply has a, a slate like structure where you type in and the output is shown on the screen in it puzzle actually sir uh, if uh, if you are going for a live session basically it puzzle is used for recorded videos you can record your video and upload on it puzzle and then you can share it with uh, the public it 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 has no restrictions on the amount of students who can watch that particular session like recording a live uh, lecture and putting on it puzzle right so n number of uh, users can access at the same time animated ppt basically if uh, sir ma'am if you are going for an animated ppt you can use powerpoint only but what i uh, demonstrated was an animated video so you can make a video with the help of the tools which i had shown animaker whiteboard or animaker or toonly at the end it will be uh, exported as a video and not as a ppt thanks a lot which software allows us to have a recording for maximum time like at least 60 minutes uh frankly speaking uh, this much amount of time so that's why i had suggested you can go for the screen customatic software if you are okay with the uh, white uh, if you are okay with the uh, watermarking thing then you can go with screen customatic which allows you to have a single video in minutes so you can have three or four such videos and club it at the end with the help of any video. at present there is no software which is providing at least 60 minutes of uh, time for free so again you have to shell some money for it but i start free uh, get a hang of it and at the end it's just about uh, sharing the resources right so even i guess it doesn't have any impact on the teaching and learning it's all about sharing your knowledge with your students cost and compatibility of graphics tablet as i told you uh, the graphics tablet ranges from 2000 rupees to 15000 16000 it ultimately depends on your uh, 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 ability to spend compatibility it's compatible with any uh, os it's compatible with windows ubuntu etc it comes with an inbuilt driver it's simply a plug and play device you plug it into your machine and it will automatically detect the graphics tablet and you would be able to draw or write instantly Yes, sure. I would uh, send all those uh, PPTs and recorded sessions on our Telegram group. Uh, you can watch this link. It will be live. It will be recorded on YouTube only. It will stay uh, there itself. Okay. As I told you, uh, twenty up to twenty videos at puzzle is free. Above that, as I told you, you can keep on deleting those videos out of that quota of twenty videos, and it will remain free forever. Otherwise, if you are very much happy with the software, you can go for the paid one. But I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I haven't used any uh, such software so far because zarurat nahi padi actually. But you can see that uh, online there are many such softwares which allow diagrams. Actually, I am from computer engineering background, so I haven't uh, used any of the softwares extensively for my research, extensively for my lecture. There might be softwares. I would ask others if they know some software. They can simply drop in their message in the comment section and let others know. Thank you so much. Menti is basically, as I had uh, shown you, you can go to mentimeter.com. 
Mentimeter account over there. I will show you. Wait a minute. This is Menti itself. So I will show you at the end. Mentimeter, you can go to mentimeter.com. It allows you to have four to five questions and you can ask questions with the code. You can share the code with your students. They need to go and visit this website menti.com, type in this code and then only they would be able to see whatever questions you are asking and they can give their inputs. Animation, Animaker Whiteboard. Okay, I will show it. For five minutes, I will show how to use uh, Animaker Whiteboard. I have the settings over here. What is the cost of graphics tablet? I have already answered this. It ranges from 2000 to 15,000. Diagrams in technical analysis subject. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, you can draw diagrams. Whatever be the subject, it's up to you. The whiteboard is available freely. You, only thing is, it's up to you how you make use of a mouse or a graphics tablet. I would suggest go for a graphics tablet. It definitely helps you. How to secure a content? Basically, uh, I would recommend that you upload your content on YouTube and provide a link on Edpuzzle. As Edpuzzle, Edpuzzle is also having uh, a section where you can upload your content directly, but I wouldn't recommend that because that would be available freely. Anyone can use it and add their own watermark and sell it as their own course. So what I suggest is you can use YouTube because YouTube automatically adds a content ID for your video. Create your YouTube channel, share it with us, uh, use uh, I will open up the telegram channel for us to communicate with each other uh, many of uh, uh, many of us are having their own youtube channels you can subscribe to those youtube channels we will subscribe to your youtube channel and share uh, share your channels basically with all the community members this will basically help us grow as not only as an individual but also as a community of teachers thought it would be worth it if we had explained one topic in detail in quite slow manner Actually, I, I also wanted that only, but we are we were having a lot of the topics to cover in the I would try to uh, upload individual videos in detail and post it on my YouTube channel. You can go through it and let me know if you have any other issues or any other queries with me. Apart from that, the technical issues, um, I'm really sorry for it, but it's out of my control. I couldn't handle it. Okay, sorry. Is the Toonly app free? The Toonly app is available for a free trial, I guess for seven days. The other options are free, totally free. Animaker is free. Animaker whiteboard is free. It provides the same kind of an environment. I will show in detail how to draw a diagram in Animaker whiteboard. Okay. Mobile friendly app. Sir, uh, sir uh, ma'am, basically this entire session, whatever I had shown you, all these apps are mobile friendly. You can use Menti. You can use Edpuzzle. You can use TED Ed. You can use Hot Potatoes. All of these applications because if you remember, I had asked the question at the very beginning of the session, what tools are you using? What device are you using? It was basically intended for that only as I wanted to show you all which are the open source applications which you can use using your mobile phones as well as your uh, laptops. Sure, I would send all uh, other videos explaining the Prezi and other softwares. Thank you. No, you don't need any account for Hot Potatoes. It's totally free and it's totally open source. The code as well. Basically, if you are using a computer, you can use any of the tools I have uh, shown you. Basically, uh, the uh, whiteboard and uh, concepts, you can use them for handwritten notes. If you are using an iPad, there are many options, many uh, softwares which allow you to create handwritten notes which really look like traditional notes. But right now, I am not having any tool which I could show you. But I will definitely share uh, some of the tools with you in the Telegram group. Stay connected. Thank you so much. Thank you. Interactive sessions, uh, as I have told you, you can create interactive lectures using Edpuzzle. You can create interactive lectures using TED Ed, interactive tests using hot potatoes and whatnot. If you uh, know any of the tools you use, you can kindly let me know. Thank you. So I guess there are more questions over here. I will just check in the comment section if there are any more questions. I am not able to read questions over here. Okay. Let's get back to this. Any more questions you are having? I, I actually, due to time constraints, I'm not able to answer each of these questions, but I would definitely get back to you 
if any more questions are please ask me in the telegram group i will open up the telegram group for you all stay connected in that group share each other's uh, youtube channels subscribe to each other's channels and make it a habit of uh, sharing important content important lectures important e content so that each and every one can benefit out of it which tool you have used to generate your cv i have used prezi that was the very first tool i had shown you prezi.com allows you to have uh, allows you to uh, use all the free templates you can create your portfolio you can create your bio data with the help of those tools Okay, let me see more questions. Again, you can see that uh, to check further questions, I need to mark it as answered. So this is also a new thing I came to know. That's the actual intent of this uh, session. You get to know more, exploring new things. You get to know a lot when you explore new things. That's why I had intended to keep this session. And thank you so much for being so attentive. I would get back to these questions uh, in your uh, Telegram group due to some time constraints. I'm not able to answer each and every query over here. But uh, I would definitely check out these questions and get back to each and every question. Just keep on um, asking your questions. This particular uh, link will be active, and. I would definitely get back to each and every question and post their answers on the Telegram group. Thank you so much for being an, such an uh, awesome audience. I would simply uh, share a message which has been asked. Okay, okay. Just let me, let me get back to it. Let me see if any more questions are here. So thank you so much for being uh, such an awesome audience and I request you all to stay connected to the Telegram group. Share your contents with all of us. We would definitely like to grow as a community of teachers helping each other and which ultimately will help the students in turn. Right? So if you like this session, I, I again would request you to uh, like this video and share it with as many people as possible so that it reaches the large number of people and they may benefit out of it so thanks a lot stay connected and share it with your friends thank you so much let me play this vote of thanks for you thank you so much mr sridhar ayer for sharing your knowledge and conducting this wonderful session i am sure all the participants have information from the session i would also like to thank our group director honorable mantri sir for his constant motivation for conductations Campus Director Dr. J. B. Patel Sir for his support. Head of the Department Dr. Jitendra Saturwar Sir for his guidance and the entire team of Computer Engineering Department for making this session successful. The feedback link is shared on your on the description box. Kindly give your feedback to receive your certificates. You will receive your certificates within two to three days. Thank you. Thank you. Three days. So thank you so much. Uh, you can see this link. Just visit that link to give your valuable feedback on this session. Once you submit your feedback, you will definitely get back your e-learning certificate for today's webinar. on your registered email box thanks a lot for it thanks a lot for this uh, valuable uh, motivation from your side this will definitely help me to come up with more such content and i once again uh, apologize for the technical glitches that we had in between the session it was totally not under our control thanks for being patient and thank you so much that's it i would now end the session i will just drop this uh, link in the description box you can uh, get this link and dropping your feedback